In VirtualBox 7, there's a way that we can add more CPUs to our virtual machines. So with the virtual machine turned off, I can go to Settings, and then I can go to System, and after that I can go to where it says Processor. Now you can see I can add more processors just by moving the sliding scale. I could also use the up and down arrow as well. But first I need to make sure that I have extra processors. So I'm going to go to Task Manager and go to Performance and then go to CPU. And you can see I have only one socket, but that's not the important part. It's how many cores do I have that I can use for logical processors. So here you can see I've got four cores. I'll close that. So what that means is I can use up to four cores for my virtual machines. Now you can do this for every single virtual machine that you install. So if you have five virtual machines, you could use all five of them with the four processors that are in there. And that's because it doesn't work like RAM. RAM can only be used by one operating system virtual machine at a time. Whereas processors don't work that way. If a server is going to need to use all four processors, the other virtual machines will just stand back for a little bit. And while this one uses is those four processors. And then when it's done, then the other virtual machines can use the four processors if they need to. So you can use the maximum amount of processors on every single virtual machine, and it'll work just fine that way. Now it does say I can use up to eight CPUs, but the fact is I don't have that many. I only have the four. So it's pointless to move this up any further than four because it, it just doesn't exist. So that is how we add additional processors in VirtualBox 7.